It's Wednesday and we're in Simpsonville, South Carolina, and we're still in the book of Romans. In chapter 12, uh, we come across an interesting area of Christian life. It deals with the church body and with spiritual gifts. Uh, and as we look at this subject, I really want you to listen carefully because there's so much misinformation about spiritual gifts. You see, it tells us clearly here in Romans and also in 1 Corinthians that there are many members of the body of Christ. That is, there are many people within the body of Christ. And that there are uh, those who have gifts, but we all differ in the gifts that we have. As a matter of fact, Romans 12, 4 through 6 teaches us clearly that the gifts are a differentiation uh, given by the Holy Spirit and that uh, there are many different kinds of gifts. And here in this section of Scripture, it lists, lists prophecy, teaching, exhortation, giving, and mercy. If you go over to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, beginning at verse 1, you'll find that there's a variety of gifts, but one spirit, a variety of ministries for those gifts, but one Lord, and a variety of effects and one God. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means even though we may have the same gift as someone else has, there are a variety of ministries for that gift, and there are a variety of effects that that gift may have. So it doesn't mean just because you're in a body of Christ that has a number of teachers, uh, there may be a variety of ministries by those teachers and a variety of effects by those teachers. And the same is true of each of the gifts, wisdom, knowledge, faith, uh, whether it's giving or mercy. There are a lot of different ministries and a lot of different effects. But very key to all of this, if you look at 1 Corinthians 12, there's a key verse that says, One and the same Spirit works all of these things, now listen carefully, distributing to each one individually just as he wills. So those who teach that everybody has to have a certain gift, uh, that is the same gift, all have to speak in tongues or all have to have the gift of healings or whatever they might say, that's incorrect. It says the Spirit gives those gifts just as he wills. As a matter of fact, if you're still not sure, go down to verse 18 in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 12, and you'll find another very key verse which says God has placed the members, each one of them, in the body just as he desired. So it's very, very important as you look through these passages of Scripture, you realize we don't have to have certain gifts in order to be saved. Uh, but we ought to have a gift, which is a manifestation of the Spirit dwelling in us. If you're not sure what gift you have, talk to your pastor. There are many simple tests. That, these are not biblical tests. That is how much Bible knowledge you have. But tests that you can take that indicate where your gift is. Because gifts are very often confirmed through the ministry you've already had. And when you answer these questions honestly, it will point to the fact that you may have the gift of mercy or the gift of teaching or the gift of giving. And so we can see that there are ways of finding these gifts, and it is possible that you have more than one gift. That is, you may have a primary gift, but very often there's a complementary gift that goes along with it. The gift of prophecy may be today called the gift of preaching but very often it is complemented by the gift of teaching because most pastors, as they preach, are also teaching. Many times uh, the gift of giving uh, is, is accompanied with gift of wisdom or discernment uh, so that you, in fact, would have discernment on how to give and where to give. Now, there's a lot of controversy about how many gifts there are. Uh, if you look at just this passage in Romans 12, and 1 Corinthians 12, you'll see 12 gifts listed. However, the Houts Questionnaire has something like 25, 26 potential spiritual gifts. I'm not so hung up on whether it's 15 or 12 or 25. You have the gift that God gave you when the Holy Spirit entered into you. If you're His and you have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you, you have a gift. God placed you in a body, a church, 
a place of service to use that spiritual gift to glorify him. And if you're in a local church and you're not exercising that gift that God gave you, you're cheating that church because he placed you there to use that gift. So I hope that you'll think about what spiritual gift God may have given to you, whether it's giving, whether it's faith, whether it's knowledge, whether it's wisdom, whether it's mercy, whatever gift he gave you, pray about using that in the local body. Because you see, we're not all the same gift, and when the church is looking for your gift to be exercised and you're not exercising it, you're cheating the body of Christ. Very, very important that we understand the spiritual gifts we have and to use those in the local body. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.